Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a first impression, a true first impression and unboxing of the new fragrance from YSL, Myself Le Parfum. I don't even think this has officially been released yet, but I was out at my local Macy's. I was out looking for new releases and was not expecting to come across myself Le Parfum. Now I've heard rumors of it, but it is a real thing and I have it here. We're going to unbox it and give my first impression. I have not smelled this yet. I didn't smell any testers. I literally just bought it and ran to film this video. I do also have the original. And if you guys remember, I did also do a first impression impression review of the original Myself Eau de Parfum and I was a little bit harsh on it. I will admit it did not really blow me away based off of my first impression but as you guys have seen just over the it's been about a year maybe eight months to a year it has very quickly became one of my all-time favorite designers since for men i talk about myself all the time and you may be wondering well erica if you love it so much why didn't you put it in your holy grail fragrance video well that is because i'm planning on doing a holy grail designers men's fragrance video very very soon look forward to that but i can do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the two as well. So let's go ahead and open this up. I am so excited to smell this. You don't even understand. I just hope that it really is everything that YSL is promising it to be, which is just a more intense interpretation of the Eau de Parfum. It's supposed to be deeper and more powerful. So let's see. I'm excited to see what the bottle looks like too. So I don't have the original box with me to compare, but Go ahead and open it up. Pretty simple packaging. Ooh, okay. Oh, wow. This is nice. I was not expecting a matte black look. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is really beautiful compared to the glossy finish of the original you can see here. Kind of clean, like sleek design. I don't actually, you know, I don't really know which one I prefer, honestly. I think that, you know, matte black is very cool, but there's something about the gloss on the Eau de Parfum that I like. But talking about the notes in here, give it a spray. I'm also going to spray it on my skin. So this has a pretty similar note breakdown to the original. It has that very famous orange blossom with some black pepper and woods with patchouli and a nice bourbon vanilla. So once again, pretty simple. They are giving us a little bit more notes than they gave with myself. I think that when they launched myself, they gave us maybe three notes. So leaving a lot up to the imagination but it's a moment of truth. Let's go ahead and spray this. I'm so excited and nervous. Ooh, that's a long spray too. Yeah, it's just such a likable, likable DNA. And I immediately get a ton of that orange blossom. All right, let's spray it on the skin. Ooh, there is something a little different about it though. Let's go ahead and spray it on the back of my hand. Immediately, you're going to get more of this very like dressy vibe. Like it definitely feels like a nighttime scent. It feels like a date night. It feels very, very, very sexy. And that's always been kind of the appeal of the Eau de Parfum. It's just, it's just a very sensual, sensual fra date night fragrance. But the thing is with the Eau de Parfum is that I think that it's a little more like wearable for the daytime. Like if you just really love that DNA, but this, oh my gosh, it just screams nighttime. This is very, very, very impressive. Seriously, it doesn't smell like Len Weed alone, of course, but I feel like this could have the same power that Len Weed alone has. You know, Len Weed alone is really known as like the panty dropper, like the fragrance that's going to like get you the girl every time. Tried and true, it's worked for years and years and years. It's like a killer, like a lady killer scent. This could give Len Weed alone a run for its money. It does feel pretty simple. There is something a little fresh about it, but it's definitely not as bright as the Eau de Parfum. But I do get this really nice kind of like spicy green patchouli it's not a dirty patchouli it's just adding a little bit of this kind of like green spiciness combined with the woods yeah on the skin it's a little bit different on the skin i'm getting more like pepperiness there's a lot of pepper here on the skin mixed with that orange blossom but overall still i would say that it's a pretty creamy fragrance like on the strip it feels like 
All of these notes are combined in a very creamy way, that floral aspect, the woods are very creamy in here, like a really nice kind of like ambery sandal wood, but mixed with pepper. So it's like creamy with like some spice on top. And on the skin, at least on my skin, I'm definitely getting more of that kind of spicy element in the opening. But I do also get equally the same amount of orange blossom. This is definitely, including myself, is a orange blossom fragrance through and through. It's what it's all about. It's what makes it very alluring and sexy, but it's also what makes it very unique in the designer world. You're not seeing a ton of orange blossom in designer fragrances, at least to where it's like as dominant as it is in this line. So I like that with this fragrance, you're kind of like pushing the bounds boundaries a little bit. You know, you're definitely going to stand out from other people when you wear myself, but definitely the Le Parfum as well. This just, oh, it smells so sexy. It is like the more that I'm smelling it, the more I'm just like, wow, it is hot, like freaking hot. This on a date night, it's a winner. It's a winner. That's all I have to say. It is good. Like the girl is going to be yours. <laughs> She's going to be like begging for you to propose, take her home. <sighs> it's romantic. That's what the orange blossom is in the scent. Really, it's a very romantic combination. Sexy and masculine, but romantic. Like it smells like a Casanova, like a guy that just knows what he's doing. It is pretty simple. It's not really changing at all. I would say that this is probably going to be a pretty linear scent just like myself myself eau de parfum is also pretty linear but i just feel like it's going to dry in a very linear direction it's not going to really transform but that's fine there's nothing wrong with this scent like there's nothing that you really will want about it to change like you're going to want it to stay the same like don't do anything don't go anywhere stay the same oh my god i don't know how ysl does it i don't know if you guys like agree with me or not, but there's something, like something about YSL's men's fragrances and the women's as well, come to think of it, that are just like, in the designer world, they're the sexiest. Like they are the hottest, like hot guy, hot girl fragrances. You know, a lot of other designers, especially in the women's world, are very like girly, juvenile, sweet, overly floral. But then YSL gives us something like Libre, which is so sensual and sexy. And the same thing with their men's fragrances. You know, there's a lot of like bubble gummy, sweet, Paco Rabanne, kind of like off-putting kind of designer scents that kind of mesh together and kind of blend in. But all of their masculine fragrances from Y Live to the Loam line to La Nuit de Loam, like there are so many, even their private line, they just all have this certain sex appeal to them. I love, like love this. It's very enveloping and creamy, romantic, masculine and romantic. Like, I don't want you to get scared of me saying the word romantic and thinking that, oh, it's feminine or it's like a wussy fragrance. It's romantic in a very sexy, masculine way. Uh, okay, I need to spray the original. I need to do a comparison. So the original note breakdown that we got from myself was bergamot with that patchouli and orange blossom with a lot of ambroxan. And I think that the a main difference that you're gonna feel is that difference with the Imbroxin. For sure, myself, the Le Parfum is going to feel a little bit denser. It's not going to have, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have that kind of airy quality that the Eau de Parfum has. Like, it feels lighter. I wouldn't say that myself Eau de Parfum is even a light scent, but it feels airier compared to Le Parfum. And also more simple. It's definitely going to feel fresher. Like I said at the beginning of the video, feels more of like a scent that you could easily wear day to day if you wanted to and bust out at night too, to also make an impression. But with the Le Parfum, I feel like it's going to be maybe a little bit more limited to the nighttime. Like it just, there's nothing really casual feeling about it. In the Eau de Parfum, I'm getting a lot more of this kind of like vanilla. It's a lot of vanilla. It's not really spicy. There's a little bit of spice here, but it's more vanilla than spice and orange blossom versus the Le Parfum. Wow, wow, what an upgrade, seriously? This is like on the next level. This is so good, the Le Parfum. I mean, I love them both, but 
Wow, this is like going to be a crazy impression maker. I just can't stop smelling it. There's something else in here that they're not telling us. Why is Ellis keeping a secret from us? I swear there's some there's some other note that's in this. I don't think it's lavender, but it's kind of coming off in this like creamy kind of lavender-esque way. Maybe that's why I thought of Lenwee alone, but yeah, myself, the Eau de Parfum is still gorgeous, but when you compare the two, you can't help but pick the Le Parfum. But ah, it's just that limiting thing is that I really feel like the Le Parfum is going to be more for the nighttime. You could probably pull this one off more day to day, the Le Parfum in like fall, winter, but in the summer, I think that the Eau de Parfum is going to be a better choice if you're just looking for like one solid fragrance to wear all the time. But if you get the Le Parfum, wear this on a date night. I am telling you right now, I already know that this is going to be my next obsession. This fragrance is addicting. Like I am already hooked. I've smelled it like once. Still simple, but I just love how they've found a way, like just found a way to kind of like pierce the veil in the designer world, you know, and do something that isn't that crazy different, but different enough to really stand out when you're around like sniffing in Macy's or Sephora, wherever you're at. When you smell this compared to other designer fragrances that are released or available today on the same counter, this is going to really stand out to you. And as it's drying, I don't know if it's because I just pictured the color purple when I'm smelling this that I'm thinking lavender, but there's just something creamy, like envelopingly creamy, and it's getting even creamier as it dries. This spice is kind of toning down and the creaminess in this scent and the Le Parfum is really taking over with those like creamy woods. The woods haven't really changed that much either, but I'm telling you, there's something else in here. I'm gonna figure out what it is. And eventually when I do a full blown review of myself, Le Parfum, I'll let you guys know what I think. But first impression is insanely good. Insanely, insanely good. The Eau de Parfum is freaking stunning as well but it does just feel a little bit more casual. And I feel like in a way you might even get more orange blossom in the Eau de Parfum. Like I feel like it's gonna stand out more in the Eau de Parfum, that orange blossom note, because there's less going on in this scent versus the Le Parfum. It's more like equally distributed between the spice and the woods. Like the woods and whatever else that secret ingredient is <laughs> that's added in here it really balances out, really rounds the scent, and it definitely does feel way more intense and like denser than the Eau de Parfum, because once again, it also does not have that same Inbroxen note. So that is going to play a part in the projection, in the performance of this scent. It's gonna be really interesting for me to test this over the next week to see if this is going to perform well or not, because it has kind of died down a little bit on my skin already. I wouldn't say that it's necessarily soft at this point, but that like initial kick that I got when I first sprayed it is kind of going away. So I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna see how it's going to end up performing. I feel like the Embroxin, like it might need it. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys know in my updated full review. But once again, just satin broxin and the Eau de Parfum is gonna make it feel very airy. A little more dominant on the orange blossom and vanilla and just better for day to day, I think, and Le Parfum. I, I dare you, I dare you to wear Le Parfum on your next date night. Do it, try it, and come back and let me know how it went, please. I would love to know. I have a prediction. <laughs> I could bet money that this is going to impress a lot, a lot of ladies. I love this. I'm very impressed by this. The only downfall of this is, well, it really should be no surprise. I feel like every time that I make a designer review, we're talking about the price point. It's just a trend in the designer world these days. It's inflation of fragrance. It's crazy for a 60 ml bottle. This was $150. $150 for a 60 ml. Designer prices are starting to creep right up there into the niche territory. It's nuts. It's insane. It's crazy. But is the scent really worth it? Once again, I need to test out the performance of it, but based off of that first impression, I think you guys could see my face. <laughs> I think it's freaking amazing, and I could find a way to justify it for that price. 
I mean, obviously I did because I bought it, but we just need to test it out, see how it performs. And then hopefully in a week or so, I will give you guys my updated review on this. But I have a feeling it's going to be an instant, instant hit. As soon as it hits the worldwide market, I have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of people going absolutely nuts over this. My first impression of the new Myself Le Parfum is definitely much stronger and better, more positive than I had with the Eau de Parfum. I'm gonna go ahead and test these both out and let you know what my final thoughts are. So look forward to that video in about a week or two. But yeah, guys, that was just my first impression review of the new fragrance from YSL. Myself Le Parfum. I would love to know what you guys think about the Eau de Parfum. Are you excited about trying the Le Parfum? What do you think about it? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. I appreciate all the feedback. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you next time. Bye.